Do you often lose marks on very strict mark schemes in A-level physics? Should you actually be memorizing? Well, the answer is complicated. First of all, there absolutely are pure recall questions. They're not the vast majority of the paper, but they do appear and they typically have a pretty high success rate, meaning that those are the questions that you definitely need to get right if you're aiming for the highest grades. For instance, you need to be able to recall the definition of things such as as the work function, what is meant by the superposition of two waves. Or concepts such as the internal energy of a gas may have some very specific wording in the mark schemes of your specific exam board. But on the other hand, here is the big problem with memorization. Physics is not about repeating answers, it's about understanding concepts. Physics is not about repeating answers, it's about understanding concepts. And this here is the real part that you should focus on, understanding the content. Your number one priority when you encounter a problem that you did not get is to not memorize every line of the mask scheme, but to understand why it was written and be able to apply it to new problems. For instance, in the diffraction grading experiment or Jung's double slit standard experiments, we typically measure the fringe separation over multiple fringes. Rather than memorizing that, we need to understand that this decreases the percentage uncertainty because the percentage uncertainty is inversely proportional to the measurement value. And we can apply this concept to virtually any experiment out there. If you're struggling to make sense of mark schemes and you would like to revise almost the entire specification with me, next week I'll be running three revision courses for Edexcel, iEdXL, AQA and OCR A-level physics. I'll link those in the description and I hope to see you there. So what should we actually do? Here's a little checklist. We need to use the mark schemes to learn all the recall questions available. We also need to understand the concept behind each answer that you've encountered. The last one is just as important and that is to practice applying those ideas to new problems. How do we do this? The best way to do this last one is to work with specific questions from your exam board. Hopefully you still have a couple of past papers left to do and I will do these in full exam conditions, compare it with a mask scheme and see if you can practice applying those ideas and in a way almost predicting what the mark scheme is going to look like. Once you start solving all of these these problems, you start to get almost a sense of exactly what is going to appear on the mark scheme before you actually start writing the question. And this is the state that you want to be aiming for to give you full confidence for your exams. There are certain statements in A-level physics that are almost guaranteed to give you marks. And this is precisely why you should have a look at this next video right over here in which I go over many of them that will help you get the maximum result possible. Click over here.